Welcome to this lecture. This is second lecture of series e-learning project. If you are new in this series, please go back to first lecture. Playlist link is given in the video description. First of all, search ZAM and click on download button. Download it according to your operating system like this and click on download button and install this server on your PC for this project. You can use any editor. I am using this editor Sublime. So you can download, click on here Windows or Linux and you can also download this project from using this download button. Link is given in the video description. After that, go to localhost PHP my admin and click on new button simply exceptional is our database name create successfully created after that click on import button and by clicking browse button you can select database from learning folder remember this folder is given in the link you can download from uh, download link and paste simply learning folder in HT docs go to after installing XAMPP go to XAMPP HT docs and paste it here learning folder and from learning folder select exceptional database open it and simply click on go button here data in inserted successfully so click on exceptional and look at here admin table in admin table the structure is column name id name admin email password which is hash password and profile picture name dot jpg and admin type is yes i will define it in our upcoming lectures block you can add post content into this table post date admin title or status like that uh, status means this post is video or audio like something like that uh, image or video categories post categories table id categories content means lectures and uh, course id is the foreign key from course courses and here is the course category id from category table instructor id book id these three columns are the foreign keys library book name book cover name and the category id whether this book is belong to uh, computer science or e-learning or what is the type of category teacher or instructor name qualification and the last one is team management team so simply open sublime open folder and select folder from HT docs 
learning folder that you can download from link that is given in the video description so search on learning project select folder and folder is open so first go to admin panel and admin area which is go to EP EP stands for exceptional programmers and here open index file HTML form is given like that so the form is here enter the URL localhost learning slash learning slash go to EP so learning and then go to EP and index file is automatically picked by the browser and here so just simply Here is the login to your account, label, input, name, email and the second input is the password and here are some PHP messages. So if mail is not worked or message if record is not found, for example uh, if username or password is invalid, so this is the message. Or password is invalid these are the messages for if some error occur or due to not su not successful login so simply code is given in the video description you can download this file from this video description link is given in the video description this link simply select all the code and cut or copy from here so copy from here and insert it here just save it so first line is include include config.php so what it means this dot it means that go to one folder back like we are in go to EP folder and go back so now we are in learning folder after learning folder go to include folder and here is the include folder and then config.php and here is the config.php so what is the config.php basically is the connection file so you cannot directly access this file if link is given so like that uh, include include and in include config dot php so what am access denied please away from here so you cannot access this file directly so this if statement says you cannot directly access this file so I mentioned here the link of this file the path the complete path and the message is access denied please away from here if this file is included you can access this file by using only this method you can include this file into another file so here connection variable that contains all the information about uh, connection my sqli connect is a function is a php built-in function that is used to build connection with my sql database or with database so localhost is our server name root is our username so no need to mention here password because i don't have any password if you have password you can put here 
and the database name is exceptional created by us if connection is established successfully then store the information in connections otherwise or die database not connected and show the error and start session session start so here is the config.php for admin and you can include using this here is the is set function is set function is a build in method in which we can check whether a variable is set or not and variable is not null a variable must contain a value so if a variable is available and it must contain a value then the condition is true otherwise false so basically the post array collect values from form and uh, form method should be post like here is the form method that we are using action and method is post whenever I click on this button login button page refresh automatically and action is taken in this page and again is set submit it means that form is submitted it if it is submitted then the condition is true and check the email condition and check email condition that other email must not empty and email is set so check is here after that if email is given then check whether email is according to the specific pattern like some name at the rate company name and then dot com so here is the regular expression what is regular expression it is a specific pattern that we match with string for checking the this string is according to the pattern or not if is it is according to this pattern then it is valid otherwise you can display message please type correct email and the variable is message mail and save it remember this thing that input name email name is email and here the name is password so and the submit button the button name is ID and you can click this button the form will submit it automatically and here is the name of the button that is submit here is the post array for submit button if this button is clicked then this condition will be true and after checking email if email is correct then we are going to check password password must be greater than six characters so first condition you can put this condition or not so first of all check whether the password is given set and must not be empty otherwise if password if email is valid then store into email variable if password is valid then store it into password variable so if email is set means this variable is set this variable is set in this condition and if this condition is true also this variable is set if our password is according to the condition it is set so if both are set email and password simply apply a method mysql i real escape string so it is basically escapes a special characters from string 
uh, for use in SQL query. So just deleting the like that you this symbol and this quotation are going to delete from the string. And after that MD function MD5 is a very popular famous function hash function produce a hash string consisting of 128 characters basically the hash uh, we are going to convert uh, our uh, this M password uh, into a md5 password which is if the password here in admin password table is my name Fahim but looking in this way like that so convert it into the according to pattern so after that query select all from admin where e admin email is equal to email and password is equal to password if this condition is true then some data retrieve must successfully retrieve so this function is used to retrieve data from database so the parameters are connections and check SQL so both parameters are given just you can pass these two parameters and after uh, giving two parameters to this function this function will return the data if data is available into database according to our SQL query the SQL query says that select all from admin it means that from admin table where I email where the email admin email the column name admin email and password is equal to email and password so we check if result it means that if data is available into this variable or this array then we are here condition is true and if data is available then while by using while loop you can retrieve data and session user ID from by using so by using while loop raw and my SQL I fetch associative array it means that by using column names you can access data the column name ID here so you can get ID of the user that is required according to our uh, SQL query name and type and store it into session array basically session array is started here session start and you can it is a global array like uh, post and get so it is like array you can store ID name type in this array so we'll use in our next video so fetch associative array means we are going to fetch a raw value one by one like uh, the elements of the associative array ID name admin email and we are going to store ID name type in this and here is the header location now go to this page where the location is home.php and our home.php is here home.php so go to this page if data is successfully uh, retrieved from database in this condition where password and email is equal to the database contains and if condition is not true here it means that there is no data then if raw less than is equal to zero so message found it means that email or password not found so save it and after that go to your section abc at the rate gmail is given here and write it for him so simply click on login button and you are here remove this error simply 
by deleting or you can make it comment now refresh recent and another message so we are here on home.php so login is successfully but this message this error message is from home.php file thank you for watching this video please subscribe our channel see you in next lecture